apparently can't get away from Velma. No matter how hard I try, I can't. So, you know, Velma. Velma. I've been talking about it way too much. It's so freaking awful. It is so awful that it is sitting now at a 6% on Rotten Tomatoes. This show is so awful that if you go to the initial Velma trailer, all those comments read are, are just the perfect incarnation of what came about due to Rings of Power when it's like, oh, I love it when Velma did XX and X. So stunning and so brave. Oh, I loved it when this, this, and this happened. I should have brought it up here, but you get the drift. I've done it every single time. You know, you get the second trailer that drops the day before the show launches. Downvoted to all hell. Comments turned off. Show launches. The next day, show launches. I wake up, I think, hey, you know what? It's not going to be that bad. It's just one episode. It was two episodes, and my God, they were awful. Thank you again for everybody who watched. But this show has been so bad, and we've been pointing out why it's bad. It's just crappy writing. It's Mindy Kaling self-inserting herself. It's her narcissistical worldview brought to life. And we pointed out just how awful it is it's just mindy kaling awful it is hollywood making a hollywood show for hollywood and not the rest of the world while simultaneously taking a beloved property in the form of scooby-doo in the form of scooby-doo and completely bastardizing changing characters making shat well norville sam i can never remember the dude's name i'll have to remember it by the end of the night Norville is some effeminate black dude who everybody keeps calling him a pot smoker, but in reality, he's not. He actually vehemently hates drugs, but he makes YouTube videos and streams about snacks, you know, because Shaggy was an eat snacky guy, obviously, but had a lot of pot. You, you know, he, he does those for the potheads. You get... Daphne, Constance Wu, being a prissy little queen bee prick, not who Daphne was. Daphne was actually the run to the litter, but also she has two moms, you know, and in this version, Constance Wu. Glenn Horton is evidence of just how racist and awful they are. Using him to display all sorts of white privilege. You know, he's so privileged and pampered that he never had to go through puberty. He has a teeny weeny little peeny. You know, he's a he's a man child. Well, actually, not even a man child. He is literally a child. He is stupid. He is moronic. He does everything wrong. And they do a Hitler joke with him, mind you. Probably can't say that dude's name on YouTube, but uh, I don't really care. And then Mindy, who, Velma is obviously Mindy, who is simultaneously, you know, disliked by everybody, is one of the unpopular kids, but at the same time is almost perfect at everything she does, yet also imperfect at everything she does. She has so much meta jokes that it breaks my brain, where one minute she's complaining about... Like me, she does one me too joke and everybody thinks it's right wing yet the whole other time she's complaining that nobody is following the progressive ideology. Well, this has led to, well, like I went over yesterday, Velma is so bad. It swapped psyop. It spawns. I uh, can't speak. It spawns psyop conspiracy theories. Yeah, I, I went over that. Well, we have a new one. We have a new example of basically people trying to cancel Mindy Kaling. Now, I don't like Mindy Kaling. I think her show is so freaking awful. I think Mindy Kaling is unfunny and very pampered and prissy. But people are trying to meet to her now. And here it is. Mindy Kaling, Mindy, Mindy, Mindy. Mindy Kaling from Hashtag Velma talking about how she non-consensually kissed a co-star and threatened to fire people if they told anyone. 
I'm not surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Mindy Kaling. Mindy Kaling kissed a co-star. It was a peck. But threatened to fire everybody if they told anybody and did anything. Well, cancel her. But, I mean, yeah. This is your guys' ideology. And she's not the only female well, director, writer, star that's done this. In fact, there's there's one that made a, a show called Don't Worry, Darling that has all sorts of drama. But anyways, that that's a topic for another day. But let's just go over what Mindy says here, why don't we? And real gentleman, yeah. real gentleman. He came on the show and we had to do this flashback sequence where we were in bed together in college. Hmm. We were just supposed to be having a conversation, but like he's so tall and he's so handsome that in the middle of it, he was, he was just supposed to be like, what do you think, Mindy? And I was like... And that okay. Well, again, some of the context is missing for me. But what I'm getting is she kissed... I don't remember the dude, and they'll have a face here, and we'll have his name here in a bit. But she kissed a co-star on the lips, and I guess it was out of the blue, and hormones took over and stuff like that. And she lost control and kissed him. Looked around, and I improvised just kissing him in the scene, which is not in the script. It's not in the scene. You hmm. 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 Well, you get it. And we'll we'll skip over here. And it, it it's God. His name is escaping me, but an annoying dude. Well, anyways. And then he reacted like that, and, and I pretended it didn't happen. <laughs> and then I walked backstage. We have two writer producers. Um, I can. This is the this is the interesting part because not only there was witnesses to this. And it's interesting here. Like Baron Hulse and David Bassett. And they were like, hey man, what are you doing? You could be sued for that. And I got very scared. Uh, and then I said, um, tell anyone and you're fired. Tell anyone and you're fired. Man, this is on national TV. Hashtag me too came and went, by the way. But, you know, <laughs> you only focus on the big dogs, and not the little annoying pestilent people. Now, I, to be perfectly honest, I don't care that she did this. Moments like this happen. But when you use their ideology, she should have been gotten rid of a long time ago. Now, shouldn't she? Well, she was protected then. She was protected a little while ago. Until now, when everybody hates her show so much that you have weirdos like this trying to justify why it, why it exists. Twitter has labeled... Mindy Kaling as being conservative for some odd reason, which, and I should have brought this up, there's literally a video of her saying she's not conservative and it's sexist to think that she is. She's an insular Hollywood girl who thinks she's smart, but she's not, who has done stupid stuff all her life, has done some very non-PC stuff. Actually, her family has. I mean, her brother pretended to be black to get into a medical school. And yet, she's been safe till now. Why, why is this all coming up now? Oh, well, they're all mad that Velma exists. Now, I don't like the show. I'll be really clear. I hate the show. I hate what she did to the show. And I don't want it going further. And oh, season two. You know what? Screw it. Give it a season two. I don't care anymore. All that being said, I don't think she should be canceled for that. If this is what they're trying to do. I don't think she's right wing. I don't think she should be canceled. I think this is, well, obviously this is Conan. So I don't know how long ago this was taken and how long ago her show is. But, I mean, using their logic, you, you read the scene. The scene where she literally date rapes a dude in her show. <sighs> can't have that. You can't date rape. And you, she thought it was okay because she was a woman. Well, you guys thought it was okay in She-Hulk. You guys justified it in She-Hulk. So I don't want to hear it now. We used your logic then. And you said, no, that's not, that, that's not true. You can't do that. that that's, 
That's BS. But using your logic now, she date raped a dude, so she must be canceled. In her show, she date raped a dude. It, it, this fallout with Mindy Kaling keeps getting weirder and weirder and more and more people. I don't like the show because I think the show's crap. I think Mindy Kaling's an awful human being. I think she just uses the show to justify her true racism and narcissism. Narcissism. She is on par with every lefty organization. The only reason they call her a transphobe is because she liked and retweeted a JK Rowling tweet. That That's literally the only reason they're calling her a transphobe. She's now right wing because her show was so awful that it's helping YouTubers get views and clicks. Rightfully so, but <clears throat> never mind. That now Twitter has deemed her conservative and she therefore must be canceled. What timeline do we live in by this point? L literally, what timeline do I exist in? The show's bad, therefore she canceled her because she is right-wing. What has happened? L l let me get, let me know what, uh, certain Hadron Collider? Ha did you turn on? Let me know, get your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it out with your friends, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live. I'm recording this prior to watching the newest episode of Velma. That should be up hopefully prior to this. If not, it's going to be up after this. So I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.